Okay, so explain to me what's going on here. <laughs> okay, well, we're combining uh, our content with, with live video. Um, and so what we could do with that, we would, uh, let, you know, let's say a guy's in his bedroom on one of our sites. Uh, he's got a webcam hooked up. Uh, we, could, uh, we could have a girl strip tease in his bedroom. Uh, of course, when he turned around, she's not really there, but he could be looking on, on his screen or see a sex scene in his room or, or, or whatever. It, right. it brings him into the video. Right. Is what it is. So the camera is basically reading the shape, which is, I guess, a it's, kind of code. Or? Yeah, it's it's keying on the uh, on the logo right now, uh, but you know that that could be something else. It doesn't necessarily have to be that logo, but for demo purposes, it is. Right. Uh, we we've also set it up online this exact same demo. Uh, so you can just take this card. It's got the key on it. You could do it on your uh, laptop at home. Or oh, okay. Cool. That's pretty neat stuff. It, it's just a demo of the technology. Uh, we wanted to you know, show something off here. So. Yeah, that's neat stuff. This is a, you know, people are really starting to talk about this. And you combine this with the, the 3D stuff we're doing. Uh, I think that's you know one step closer to really having the uh, uh, the girl in your room. Yeah. yeah. How is the 3D going? So I, I talked to Kim about that months ago, and uh, you guys well, were just starting. Well, last, last year we uh, are focus for 3D was just for the iPhone. Mm -hmm. um, now this year with the 3D TVs, uh, probably going to be a big hit, I would think, by next oh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do some higher end 3D stuff. Because uh, when all I had to do was worry about it for the iPhone, uh, it's a lot different when I'm going to shoot it for something that's going to be on a 65 inch right. uh, big screen TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's what we'll be doing this year. We'll be doing a couple of 3D Yeah, uh, what, what I find kind of interesting about 3D is that uh, now porn is always, you know, it's got a reputation for being near the adopters of, of right, technology and right. stuff like that. But in this case, it's almost like uh, it's almost like porn is going to have to follow because it's I, it's Hollywood that's really driving I, it. Right? I agree. I agree. Um, I think the costs um, for, for the nicer 3D cameras and stuff was probably why uh, we didn't pick it up this new wave of 3D. We didn't pick it up uh, before Hollywood. Uh, right. But it's, yeah, you're right. It's one of the few instances where we're lagging behind them. Right. Uh, but now that, uh, I, I think the thing that'll be great for 3D is the fact that these new screens and stuff, you don't need to wear glasses. Uh, I think that's the big distractor with 3D up to this point has been, eh, you got to wear those damn glasses. And, you know, so, uh, uh, I think that, I think it'll, I think it'll be here to stay this time. I think right. this will be something that really sticks. Right, so right. It makes sense for us to go ahead and start yeah. doing more productions. Like well, yeah, it's with, the three, with the 3D TVs, the um, the manufacturers wouldn't actually make them until unless they knew that the content was coming. Right, right. Yeah, right. yeah it's kind of like, well, we don't want to do that until there's content. Well, we're not going to shoot a bunch of content until there's... So, But it's finally gotten to Chicken the point. Chicken or the eggs. Yeah, yeah. It's finally gotten to the point. It should be all right. Yeah.